My name is Chris McGinnis, and this is my second strange story. My father was a demon. He was physically and mentally abusive. And uh, one night, kind of near the end of my relationship with my father, he came to my room. Uh, around 2 a.m. in the morning and he aimed his, he cracked open the door and he aimed his Luger at me while he thought I was sleeping. And uh, I heard my mom say uh, after a few moments of this, uh, <clears throat> Jim, what are you doing? And he ran into the bathroom across the hallway and locked himself in there. And he stayed in there for about 45 minutes until he came out. And uh, he said, reality check, go back to bed. And, uh, you know, this didn't escalate to anything more than that. But, uh, you know, it was, it was a big moment. And... Uh, uh, you know, as a kid, I, I built a lot of things in the garage, and sometimes my father would come out, and he used to brag to me about when he was a child, and he took thumbtacks, and he glued them on the first step down from the second floor of his family home, and the idea was that whoever stepped off that step would step onto those thumbtacks and tumble down the stairs. He also bragged about building an electric chair in their basement uh, for his younger siblings, his brother and sister, and uh, using that on them. I grew up terrified of this person, and once I was in, once I kind of separated myself from him via a school, uh, something happened, and he punched me in the chest and I stepped forward into him and said, don't you ever hit me again or you'll learn. And I think that really scared him because his, his father was abusive and when he was 16 or 17, he, he, he beat up his father uh, real bad. And I think he saw those kind of things about to happen for him. And uh, it was interesting because my mom finally stepped up and, you know, she's, she, she, he had said, you know, you're about to be 18, you get out of the house. And uh, my mom said, no, you go. And I said the same thing and uh, he moved out. Uh, my mom had gotten a job that shortly after that, that took her out of town. Um, down to Southern California at the time, and uh, she was gone a week, a month. And my father, I used to come home from school, and we had changed the locks, and my father would break into the house, and um, <clears throat> it was really creepy to come home, you know, alone, and there's my father after these situations. Uh, so when my mom would go out of town, I'd have friends over frequently, and just because of that. Um, and one night I had a, a couple friends and, and one thing I would say is that it really put me in the habit of checking the home to be comfortable. So I would walk around and check, you know, the windows because he had broken in through a window, uh, Jimmy through open a uh, back window. And I, I couldn't believe he could actually jump up and climb through that window which I had, had done, but uh, at his age and, and his you know weight, uh, it just seemed an impossibility, but I guess if someone wants something bad enough, uh, they get there. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, one night I had these two uh, girls uh, that were friends of mine over and we were sitting in the den, which was about, 15, 20 feet away from the kitchen. And you couldn't see into the kitchen, even though it was, you know, pretty close. And we decided to have a seance. I, I, you know, I don't know why. We were young and foolish. And uh, 
uh, I led it and I called upon the spirits that might be around and I asked that they give us a sign that they were with us. And mind you, the energy in, in that space was dark, but I, you know, I don't know why that was. I mean, I believe that the fear of my father and, the, and the, all the abuse of, you know, cruelty that uh, was endured by me, uh, uh, I, I just thought, you know, that was it. But so called for this sign and thump, we just heard the water in the kitchen, the faucet turn on and start running. And we sat there frozen for a couple minutes. It just seemed like forever. And then thump, and it was off. And uh, they told me to go check it out. And I did, I got up and I walked into the kitchen a few steps away and I looked at it, it was off. And I flipped on the water and the water was scalding hot. And it uh, really gave me a chill. I mean, I remember the hairs on my arms standing up and thinking, holy crap, you know. <laughs> 